Okay, our next problem uses this reaction on the board. Uh, we have some iron sulfide mixing with hydrochloric acid yields iron chloride and hydrogen sulfide. And this is a balanced chemical reaction on the board. You can check that. You have iron, iron, one sulfur, one sulfur, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, two chlorines, two chlorines. So it all makes sense. And our question is as follows. If 10.2 grams of hydrochloric acid is added to 13.2 grams of iron sulfide, how many grams of hydrogen sulfide can be formed? That's question one. Uh, the other question, part B, is what is the mass of the excess reactant remaining? Right? So it's the same problem as last time, really, but it's got a little twist. Basically, we're given how much hydrogen, uh, uh, hydrochloric acid we start with, 10.2 grams. We're given uh, how much of this we have to start with, which is 13.2 grams. So we're given both amounts of the reactants. And we're trying to figure out how many grams of this can form or how much of it can form. The only real difference between this problem and the last problem is that we're not given moles. In the last problem, we were given how many moles of reactant we have. The only real difference is now we're given how many grams of reactant uh, that we have. So it's a little bit of an extra step there, but you already know how to convert grams to moles because we already know how to find the molar mass of everything. So once we do that, the calculation is going to be very, very similar. So let's go and calculate how much. Let's make two assumptions. One, let's assume this is the limiting reactant. We'll calculate uh, how much of this we'll end up with. The next one, we'll figure out, OK, assume this one's a limiting reactant, and we'll figure out how much of, of that we have left over. So let's do both of those calculations right now. So let's assume, uh, well, actually, before we assume anything, notice that we have grams of hydrochloric acid, grams of iron sulfide and grams of hydrogen sulfide. We know we're going to need moles in there somewhere because we're going to be using the stoichiometry, so we need to figure out the molar mass of these guys. So that's kind of what I recommend you do in all, in all of these cases, really, uh, is, is before you get started, try to find the mass of everything you think you're going to need, and then, you know, if you need to find some more stuff later, go and do that. So the mass of hydrogen, uh, well, you could call it hydrogen chloride, but it's really hydrochloric acid, uh, is the mass of hydrogen is 1.008, there's only one of them. The mass of the chlorine is 35.453. These are both grams per mole. So when you add these guys together, what you're gonna get is 36.461 grams per mole of, for hydrochloric acid. So that's important. So let's draw a little divider here. Now, let's find the mass of FES, hydrogen sulfide. So what we're going to have this, if you look on your periodic table for, for iron, you'll have 55.847, that's grams per mole. For the sulfur, you'll have 32.066 grams per mole, obviously. And when you add these guys together, 55 plus 32, and the change you have there, you'll have 87. 0.913 uh, grams per mole for FES, iron sulfide. All right. And then finally, the only thing we're going to need there, because that's this guy and this guy. Now, in the, in the uh, problem, we're asked to find out how much of this can form. So we know we're going to need the mass of that. Mass of H2S. So now we have two hydrogens. So what we'll have is two times the mass of hydrogen, 1.008, you get that off the periodic table, plus 